The DSM Syndicate has just completed a short follow-up exploration program on its 100% owned Gold Standard property, situated approximately 5 kilometres north of Bellicula, British Columbia. Glacial abatement and snowpack recession within this region has exposed a large on-echelon quartz vein system that can be traced over 2 kilometres by 1 kilometre and remains open in all directions. This area is known as the Big Show Zone and is a new bedrock discovery with no previous work recorded in the area. Seven large shear zone hosted mineralized vein systems have been discovered to date and they all contain gold mineralization. Multiple other veins have been identified and have yet to be sampled, providing for excellent additional gold potential. The veins consist of multiple sheeted sulphide bearing quartz veins with widths in excess of 10 meters. The veins are oxidized with local disseminations of pyrite and in places traceable an outcrop for up to 350 meters along strike and remain open. Additionally, the shear zones are typically demarked by zones of chlorite schist that can be up to 20 meters wide and are also gold mineralized. Four half meter chip samples were taken from vein system 1, also known as the Kraken. These samples returned assays up to 71.8 grams per tonne gold. The larger, lower elevation part of the vein system, that is approximately 8 meters wide across, has yet to even be sampled, providing for excellent additional gold potential. Vein system 2, also known as the Goldzilla vein, is up to 20 meters wide and has been traced along strike for about 130 meters and remains open. The vein returned grab samples up to 110 grams per tonne gold, or 3.2 ounces. 934 grams per tonne silver and also channel grabs of up to 31 grams per tonne gold and 89 grams per tonne silver. Vein system 3 is known as the Leviathan. It is up to 8 meters wide and has been traced along strike for over 350 meters and remains open. The system returned grab samples of up to 96.8 grams per tonne gold or 2.8 ounces, 429 grams per tonne silver and a 1.5 metre chip sample returned 26.9 grams per tonne gold and 70 grams per tonne silver. The gold standard property is situated within a large regional high strain zone, a corridor of brittle and ductile deformation approximately 2 kilometres wide. Prolonged faulting and shearing focused within this structural corridor that transects the gold standard property provided extensive conduits for mineralizing fluids and favorable sites for mineralization. The geological setting and style of mineralization demonstrate that the gold bearing mineralized veins and shear zones are orogenic in nature. These systems are often deep rooted and mined to depths of one or two kilometers. Approximately 60% of Canadian gold production comes from this setting, with examples including the nearby Braylorn Pioneer Mining Camp in British Columbia that has produced 4.2 million ounces, also many regions within the Canadian Shield including the Timmins, Kirkland Lake, Val d'Or and Red Lake Mining Camps, which have collectively produced over 115 million ounces of gold.